Well, on my channel, I have long touted and been a huge fan of the 24 to 70 mil F 2.8 range of lenses as good for travel or as just general workhorses. Well, I think this new 24 to 120 mil F 4S lens has changed my way of thinking. I think this is my new one and done lens for practically everything. Why? Stick around, I'm gonna show you. It'd just be raining Z lenses on my channel at the moment. First it was the 14 to 30 and then it was the 35 millimeter and now it's this one, the 24 to 120 f4s lens. This is the second Z lens that I was telling you about in some of the previous videos that I'm going to be using for hiking and landscape photography and today I'm going to give it the acid test. I'm taking it on a small half day hike and I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to get some nice photos just to show you guys how incredibly versatile it is. I first noticed this lens during the Nikon Z9 launch. I put in my pre-order for it and luckily I picked it up for a couple of hundred bucks cheaper than what it retails for now. It weighs 630 grams, making it one of the lightest in its class across all brands has a 77 mm filter thread and an aperture range of f4 to 22. Let's talk about the lens build and what you get. The lens itself is pretty much what you expect from Nikon's S-line range of lenses. Really top quality and built. You can just see that it is built to take those different types of weather conditions. And it's really lightweight, especially when you pair it up with something like the Nikon Z7. You cannot believe the weight of this. At the front you have your focus ring which is also customizable then the zoom ring which is relatively firm but not too loose so the lens doesn't creep out when held downwards on the side you have your auto and manual focus button along with an lfn button which you can assign to a heap of different functions at the back of the lens there's also another ring which you can customize to a few settings like aperture exposure compensation and iso for me when doing landscapes, I've assigned the rear ring to exposure compensation and the LFN button to zoom in and out so I can double check the subject I'm focused on quickly and make sure it's accurate. One thing I absolutely love about this lens already is its minimum focusing distance of just 35 centimetres. Now, when I'm out hiking and I'm doing landscape photography, one of the things I really love to do is just stop and look at those small things that catch my eye. And with this lens, it allows me to capture those really fine details in nature. When combined with the 45 megapixel Z7, it allows me to crop in past that 120 millimeter focal length to give me macro-like shots. Plus having the five axis in-body stabilization on the Z7 allows me to use slower than normal shutter speeds and still get sharp images. Having that constant f4 aperture right through the focal range is invaluable as you can zoom in and out with your framing and you don't have to change any settings on your camera. The images I'm getting from this lens are super sharp, edge to edge, even at f4. As long as you have enough separation between your subject and the background for portraits, it gives a really pleasing bokeh. Here's a little montage of some stills I've captured on this hike.
Now one thing I should mention very quickly is that this lens doesn't have any sort of image stabilization built into it. Instead, it relies on the five axis in-body image stabilization on the Z7. But I was just sitting here and one thing I have worked out very quickly is that this lens is absolutely awesome. For video, it is dead silent and the pictures I'm getting out of it from 4K and then when I switch it over into the HD slow-mo clips on the Z7, it turns into something like a 36 to 180mm lens and it's just beautiful. When traveling with my old Nikon F-mount 24 to 70 millimeter lens, there were numerous times I wished I had that little bit more focal length. Having that extra 50 millimeters with the 24 to 120 now gives me enough to isolate subjects or capture mountain tops in the distance. The weight difference now makes those long hikes much more pleasurable and compared to when I used to hike with my old D850 setup, the new Z7 setup feels like I'm carrying next to nothing. So for landscape, food, macro, travel, video, portrait, this lens can do it all and I absolutely love it. It's my new best friend and I'm going to team it up with my 14 to 30 millimeter lens and that's going to become my new kit for going out and doing hiking and landscape photography. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. I really think you should go and check out this lens, especially for the price point. I would go so far to say it's probably the best value S-Line lens Nikon have out at the moment. As I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.